TUP, TUP, TUP. What's up, trading friends? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the number one short squeeze stock on everyone's mind, Tupperware, ticker symbol TUP. With that being said, my friends, hit the thumbs up button because in today's video, we're going to start by doing some technical analysis and then we're going to move into the short, short interest of the stock according to Fintel. I'm going to be telling you guys the real short interest of this stock and then we're going to be doing some analysis as to where the stock is headed next and how you should play the stock in order to maximize your profits. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it, guys. We'll go three, two, one, and action. Beautiful. So here we have the Tupperware chart, guys. The stock is up. The stock. The stock is up 56% during regular market hours. However, when we look at Tupperware in the previous couple of years, couple of days, right, we see that this is a stock that is up way more. Okay, it is actually up 350% in the previous just five days of trading. Now, here's the thing about these stocks. We know how they trade. If you're new to this channel, guys, I cover short squeeze stocks on a daily basis, literally every single day. We're day trading every single day, okay? So with that being said, I've seen these stocks many, many times and I'm familiar with their trading patterns. And I'm telling you guys how these plays work. Just as fast as they come, just as fast they go away, okay? And that's it. That's it. That What does that mean? That means that you need to have the proper risk management set. So even if the stock sells, right? Even if you're stuck in a way where, even if you're stuck in a place where you're last to the party and now you're left, you know, stuck at the party, you do not want to be stuck at the party, okay? You want to have the back door exit, aka your stop loss properly set, okay? So with that being said, looking at the stock, it's up 350% in the previous five, five trading days. The five trading days, the stock's gone from 67 cents to freaking, you know, what is this? Three dollars, okay? So with that being said, right, it's extremely important for you guys to have the proper risk management because once I get just as fast as these stocks come, just as fast they go away. Now, with that being said, what is causing this stock? Is this an actual catalyst or is this just another convictionless rally that is going to be here tomorrow and gone tomorrow? Here today, gone tomorrow. Drum roll, please. Convictionless rally, okay? Now, to you guys, you may be like, but, but Sam, the short interest is up like crazy. We'll get to that. However, that is still not a fundamentally strong enough catalyst for us to trade the stock as a stock that has strong fundamentals. AKA, once again, this is a stock that you do not want to get stuck in. Okay? So once again, make sure you have your stop loss set in place, please. Please, please, please. Now, how should you set your stop loss when it comes to Tupperware, right? Should you set it the, because when I say stop loss, do you know what some, do you know what the bots here, right? These are bots, right? These are people that are literally, they're, 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 they might as well just have no brain, right? Because they're not able to actually, I mean, and listen, I, I know I'm being a little bit rude because some people are just new to trading and I was new to trading and I made these mistakes as well. But looking back now, I'm like, what was I thinking, right? Because when I say stop loss, a lot of people, what they hear is they hear, okay, 5% stop loss. I'm going to set a 3% stop loss. I'm going to set a 10% stop loss. Yo, the market doesn't care about your stop loss percentage. Do you understand? The market has no clue what your portfolio is looking like, what your position is looking like. You need to set a stop loss based on the chart and then formulate your your position sizing so then it matches the 5% loss or the 10% loss. So what do I mean by that, right? What do I mean by that? So let's say I'm let's say usually I invest $10,000 with a 10% stop loss. Now the 10% stop loss may be pretty big to a lot of you guys, okay? Or $10,000 may be a lot of money to a lot of you guys, but let me explain. This is just an example. So $10,000 with a 10% stop loss. Now, this is a stock that is extremely, extremely volatile, okay? It is extremely, extremely volatile. So if I'm risking 10% of $10,000, I'm risking $1,000. I'm willing to lose $1,000 cash-wise, okay? Not percentage-wise, cash-wise, I'm willing to lose $1,000. So with that being said, my 10% equates to $1,000. Now, we have that $1,000 price, but we want to extend our stop loss percentage. Because when it comes to these plays, you can't go based off of the 5% stop loss, 10% stop loss, because they're so freaking volatile, guys. They're so volatile, right? Stocks like this, guys, go all over the roof, right? All over the roof. They're up 30%, they're down 10%, then the next day they're up 40%. So you need to have a wider stop loss. So going back to this, going back to the example, right? You have the you have the thousand dollars as a stop loss, which is usually equates to 10% of your position. 
now. You want that $1,000 to equate to a 20% stop loss. So what do you do? Well, instead of trading with $10,000, you open a position with $5,000, where you're still risking $1,000, but now the risk is 20% stop loss instead of the tight 10% where you could just get stopped out. You could take the same rule, apply 30% stop loss, 40%, whatever. You can just do that by lowering the amount that you're trading with based off of the risk reward ratio of the stock, based off of how risky the stock is. That's why one of the best things that we've introduced to our Discord trade alerts, guys, is the, you know, is this, right? Let me go to the alerts. Is this um, risk level? Is this risk level, right? This risk level is extremely, extremely important, guys. Okay, so look, this was a trade that we made yesterday, guys. It was on MNK. We jumped in a dollar fifty six. This is also what our trade alerts look like, guys, in the Discord. If you guys are interested in joining the Discord, where you guys get access to all my trading lessons, one on one access to me around the clock, also access to all my trade alerts, whether it's option alerts or regular trades, where I'm day trading as a full time day trader with you guys, you get access to it. So this is what the trade alerts look like, right? It comes with a ticker, it gives you the market limit entry price, gives you the exact ex exact strategy price exit strategy price and also a risk level this risk level it could either be red green or yellow if it's green it means that the risk is low you can go ahead and use your ten thousand dollars if it's yellow that means that it is more risky and you should use less capital if it's red that means it's super risky and you should use way less capital now on this trade we made an absolute killing because we jumped in a dollar and 56 and mnk went all the way upwards of two dollars and forty cents okay when we look at the mnk chart it went all the way was up two dollars and forty cents we jumped over here at a dollar fifty and look again right again imagine if i had set my stop loss at a dollar and you know a dollar and 37 guess what it would have gone and stopped that right over here at a dollar 35 right but i set my stop loss all the way down a dollar and risked 50 percent even though 50 percent is a lot it was a yellow alert meaning that it's more risky meaning lower your freaking position size okay and that's how we managed to you know survive this dip over here and still make money all the way to the top of the 2040 cent candle okay if you guys look over here right my exit strategy literally says sell sell the rest for 215 okay and um you know and so check it out also we are having a sale right now in our discord the next 10 people that join get access to it for a 50 percent discount it is also first month money back guarantee with no reasons required you join you don't like the discord you leave however i do gotta tell you guys something listen I know I just said 10 spots for 50% discount, but those 10 spots are going to fly off the shelf, okay? That's just how it works. I literally add like 10 spots every month or something like that, and they just go, they just go, okay? They just go. So even if you can't get access to those 10 spots, I still highly suggest that you guys join for the full price because we have over 100 members coming back every single month, and majority of them are paying full price. Why? Because they're making money in the Discord, right? They're making money, they're enjoying the lessons, and it, that's it, okay? Oh, let me just switch this. I made a mistake by accident, okay? When we go over here to the to the market win section where people will start wins, right? Just today, Hair Shannon has 17% gains. Uh, Ronnie says, Floaty, you killing it? He says, bro, it's also, shout out, shout out Floaty, man. He's been part of the community for a while. Shout out to him, right? Uh, on, on our um, BA option calls, right? $930 for Asuna. I think Raymond, his name is Raymond. Floaty over here says, decided to take profits $9,000 in a single day, okay? In a single day off of our alerts. Over here, Nino, $9,000 again off of our trading days on, I think this was GFAI, right? Over here, Floaty again says, new day, new account, new win, 27%, right? Trading Avalanche, 19%, right? Uh, Hershen R, 59%. Uh, Sam the Man Samuel. This was one of the messages that stuck with me, guys, and this is my goal as why I've put together this community, right? It says, thank you so much, Sam. I'm on track of having my first profitable year trading thanks to you and the team, right? $1,000 in the previous week alone. Over here, Zen Master says, trip to Vegas covered, $4,600, Let's hope he doesn't gamble it all away, okay? And the list just goes on and on and on and on and on, okay? So check us out, guys. The link is in the comment description. The next time people are joined, get access to it for 50% discount. Now, going back to what I was saying over here regarding TUP, right? Let's get talking about the short interest of TUP because I think this is the one thing that everybody wants to talk about, right? The short interest of Tupperware. Now, when it comes to the short interest on Tupperware, this is a stock that only has a short interest of 27%. But it's fake. What do you mean it's fake, Sam? Guys, this 27% is simply just the tip of the iceberg, okay? This is a stock that is heavily shorted through naked shorts, synthetic shares, and dark pool volume, okay? That is the type of short interest that we cannot track. That's why all we see is 27%. And this 27% is simply just the tip of the iceberg. However, 
One thing that does get people riled up is going to be the rising short interest, the rising cost to borrow rather, my apologies, right? Now, what I like to use this these numbers as, right? Even though I know that all these numbers are fake, okay? They're basically fake, allegedly, right? Don't sue me, guys, right? Um, is that I like to use them as a benchmark, right? So when we go to the past seven days, we see that the past seven days has been relatively flat, up 8%. But when we go to the past six months, Guys, the past six months, the short interest of this stock is up 167%. The cost to borrow on this stock is up 11,000% the past six months. Let that sink in. The cost to borrow of this stock has skyrocketed to 11,000%. Now, what is cost to borrow? What is cost to borrow? What well, cost to borrow is the percentage interest that shorts pay in order to be able to borrow a stock and then short it. Okay, now how does shorting work? When you short a stock, you borrow the stock from the broker, you sell it first, and then you pray to God that the stock becomes cheaper so you can buy it back for cheaper and return it to your broker. Okay, let's say I borrowed, bro I borrowed a share for $10 and I sell it. I pray to God that the stock is now $5. Now the stock is $5. I go ahead, I buy the stock for $5 again, and I return it to my broker. And when I sold it at $10 and bought it back at $5, I made $5, okay? Now, however, just like everything else in, good, in life, nothing good is free, okay? So what happens here is that the banks and the banks and the brokers don't just give you shares, right? They charge you interest. That interest is called cost to borrow. The cost to borrow for the stock is up 11,000%. 11,000, 11, like, look at this number. I was like, am I reading this right, bro? Is this, it's 11,000%. That's a lot. That's a lot. What does the cost to borrow go based off of? The cost to borrow moves based off of supply and demand. So if the, that means the demand is increasing insanely to short the stock, aka the short interest is also going absolutely parabolic, aka this is a stock that is ripe for a squeeze. But again, it's up 350% in the previous five days. So be careful. If you want to know whether I'm buying this stock or not, once again, check out the Discord. And as always, guys, subscribe. Because although I make a lot of content around specific stocks, Every single time I talk about a specific stock, I'm really just using that stock as a case study to teach you guys new levels of trading and unlock your knowledge when it comes to day trading, okay? So that's that's kind of what I try to do with this channel, right? Instead of coming out and just, you know, making lessons, which I do in the Discord, right? When you go to the Discord, let me show you guys. Um, you can go to the trading lessons, right? I have like, I have like a shit ton of lessons in here, okay? I do do that for the Discord members, but... For everyone else, I just try to teach you guys based off of, you know, specific case studies of tickers like TUP, MNK, GME, AMC, all these stocks that I go over, okay? Now, with that being said, well, I want to do a little bit of technical analysis with you guys so we can kind of know what levels to look out for and what are the important levels. Now, though, before I get to the technical analysis, okay, quick little reminder, guys, this video is brought to you by a good friends at Mumu. Right now, you probably already have a trading platform. I get it, but just hear me out right now. We have an exclusive promotion with Mumu where if you deposit $5, less than $5, what am I saying? If you take five minutes, that's what I was trying to say. If you take five minutes and deposit $1, Mumu gives you guys a free stock. That free stock is 100% luck based. You could get any stock. We have people win $5 stocks. We have people win $1,000 stocks. We have people win $100 stocks. You probably don't believe me that anyone's won a $1,000 stock, right? I get it, okay? That's why I saved the screenshot, right? It's extremely rare. I can't lie. It's extremely rare for someone to win it. I've had no one else ever send me this. That's why I saved the screenshot over here, okay? And I literally talk about it every single video, okay? So it says, congratulations. You got a Tesla stock, 1,037 SGD. What is 1,037 SGD to USD, my friends? 1,037 SGD to USD, that's 996 United States dollars. This lady made almost $1,000 American money by depositing some chum, chum change into her portfolio. Now, this is only available for people who live in either United States, Singapore, or Australia until August. After August, Canadians, you guys also get to take advantage of it. Okay, so with that being said, you know, check it out, deposit some money, see what stock you get, okay? It's worth it, it's really worth it, just try your luck. And um, anyways, now let's do some technical analysis. Now, from a technical standpoint, this stock has support over here at this level, right? I would say from 2007, $2.75 to $2.60 is where it has support, okay? If the stock breaks below $2.60, it's pretty much over for the stock. It's probably going to come back down to this $2 levels over here, right? Because it's going to break momentum and the stock isn't going to no longer... It's no longer going to be in the consolidation phase and it's going to be more in the selling off phase, right? But like I said earlier, you don't want to have a super tight stop loss because I've seen these stocks previously go down to freaking back to where they belong, like $0.60, cents, and they shot back up to freaking... 
$40 after, okay? I've seen this happen. I literally saw this happen previously. We, we saw this, right? If you've been trading for a while, you've seen this happen with AMC, right? When you go to the trading, you know, when you go to the chart on AMC, right? You, you literally see this exact same thing. You know, we had this massive pump, right? From a dollar, from a dollar all the way up was of $12, right? And every, it was $20, but on the day it closed at $12, okay? From a dollar to, let's say, $12, and everyone's like, oh my God, it 12X, oh my God. It went insane, oh my God, this was the squeeze, blah, blah, blah. And everyone ended up selling, and everyone had a tight stop loss, so he kept selling, selling, selling. But the people that held, guess what happened after? The stock went all the way upwards after $45, okay? So that's why with these plays, you kind of got to know. Now, there's also the concept of a time stop loss, which is something that I talk about all the time, which I will make another video. Actually, you know what? I'll talk about it in today's video also because I want to give you guys the most value possible. Guys, the idea of a time stop loss is extremely volume based. And this is something that I've came up with and somewhat invented myself as a professional day trader over the six years of day trading. Guys, stocks like TUP, which are short squeeze stocks, are extremely, extremely volume based and also market attention based. Now, we know that attention is a fleeting thing. So how long does the average attention on a stock last? From my experience, it is not longer than seven trading days. I know that sounds like a week, but it's not longer than seven trading days. After seven trading days, on average, the stocks start losing momentum, people start losing interest, and they're going on to the, finding the next shiny stock. So with that being said, I would not want to be in this stock more than a week around its near death. Okay, what is the life expectancy of this stock? TUP. For me, it's a week, a two weeks, three weeks max. Okay, so with that being said, if you see yourself running closer to that end date around the end date time, start thinking about closing your position. Okay, because once again, this is a stock, right, that was sitting at freaking 60 cents just a couple of days ago. Be aware now. With that being said, my friends, all of you guys found value in today's video. I look forward to talking to you in the Discord. Hit the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And also subscribe, okay, because it helps out the channel and we are trying to reach 20k subscribers by the end of this year. Thanks for watching. As always, eat, sleep, trade, repeat. My boy Sam from Top Trade Team.